Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gillingham Youth Academy Challenge on EAFC 23 and it's going very well as you'd imagine. Uh, we got knocked out in the last episode by, was it in the last episode? I think it was by Brighton in the Carabao Cup semi-finals. We made it all the way there but since then the league has been pretty, pretty good to be honest. Um, we lost to Cheltenham in the Bristol Street Motors Trophy, or the Papa John's, or whatever it's called nowadays. Uh, we got three draws in a row, and then went back to winning ways against Northampton, Stockport, uh, Lincoln, and Birmingham. And in this episode, we're taking on Sheffield Wednesday and MK Dons, and then we'll accelerate through towards the end of the season. But it's been very, very good. Yes, it's been a, a lovely, lovely little time of it, and everything's going really well. There isn't too much to say. Uh, really, the bench is looking good. People are looking fit and healthy. Not too many people are moaning. We have some news, though. Our biggest ever sale is going through. Um, yeah, our biggest ever sale. Now, is it going to be in the transfer hub? I don't think it is. I don't think it's actually gone through in terms of this. I think it's going to happen in the summer. So if we go into transfer history, has it then been confirmed in here it has there it is bailey is moving to sheffield united for 20 million pounds we are making it big time in terms of money that is easily our biggest sale before that our biggest sale was 3.75 million when rossi moved to cambridge we've also had a deal of 3.7 million from kamalo to atletico madrid but 20 million pounds for bailey to sheffield united that is going to keep this club going for a long long time which i think means we don't necessarily need to sell anyone we don't have to be forced to sell anyone anymore i don't think especially for that 20 million to last us quite a while and could it could it open the door to a potential return? I mean, it can't go back far enough to see it. But if we go in to our transfer hub and have a look at our you know, our shortlist, so to speak, which is on here, and then we search by overall rating, Amin is an 82-rated player at Bristol City. So you've got to remember, when we get promoted, we're going to be in the same league as them, so that could be interesting. Um, we could look to buy him back. Obviously, the person I'm looking for, for some reason isn't on this list that's annoying so let's go search player there is only one player i'm looking for and that as you will be aware is not that i spoke like that novak is who i'm looking for who we sold to i want to say it was lazio so dragutan novak was a goalkeeper we had he was a C-A-M, I think. There's Zan Novak, 19-year-old Zan Novak, still is at Napoli. Um, yeah, he's oh, he is on our shortlist, but we'll get a scout report of him as well. I don't know how much game time he's had. He was the first real wonder kid we had coming through. But 20 million for Bailey, I, I think we probably won't sign him until we're at least back in the Premier League. But he's definitely a player I want to bring back to the club when we can. But yeah, 20 million for Bailey. We are in a good position financially. We're going to be taking on Sheffield Wednesday in this one. And our team's looking good, actually. Oh, when, as I said, fit and healthy. Everybody's sharp, match fit, looking pretty good. The bench is looking good. Bailey drops down from the bench because we're not playing him because he's moving, uh, which is good news for Marquez. He steps up onto the bench now as our backup attacking midfielder. Uh, Day, Grant, and Hassan are the other three that miss out in this one. So let's get into the game. See you at kickoff. So Sheffield Wednesday get the game underway and they're taking on league leaders Gillingham for this one in Sheffield in a cold, wet day. It's going to be uh, an interesting game this one. Sheffield Wednesday aren't terribly, uh, aren't, aren't doing terribly badly, sorry. They're not in awful form, but Gillingham have this man on the ball who is the EFL League One top goal scorer of the season so far with 24 goals as James Looks forward to Fujiwara, who has put on quite a lot of those, lot of those goals this season. Um, he is doing very well in the assist rankings, but the first attack sort of breaks down, although James has come away with the ball. Fujiwara is there, but he's offside. Here come Sheffield Wednesday on the attack. Musab on the edge of the box, cuts it in. Great run from Gasamba. McNeil with a save. It gives Sheffield Wednesday the first corner of the game. Sheffield Wednesday look up for this one, don't they? They look like they're here to play, and McNeil pulls out a good save. It might have been sneaking in at that near post. But a strong left thumb keeps that one out from going in. Good save from McNeil. And we've got a corner to deal with. Sheffield Wednesday 
I'm going to swing this one into the box. It's Pinto that meets it, though. Edge of the box is Vega. Here's Ifora. Puts it in. Easy for Fujiwara to intercept, though, and Gilliam can hold on to the ball. Pinto does pick out Oman. A nice little turn away from his man. Oman's still going. He's created a bit of space. Oman holds it up. Fujiwara out wide. Good turn and a burst of speed. Gets him away for his man, but good defending. Fujiwara tries to turn. Couldn't quite get there, and Rivero couldn't make the interception. As uh, Fuzire brings it away. Yeah, Sheffield United putting up a good, good solid defence uh, here, actually. They're, they're playing well, and they're keeping, they're keeping the ball. And you can see they're, they're moving this around a little bit. As it goes into Musab, who's got a good pace up against Cusick. Good ball into Backinson. McNeil, good save, and he gets on the rebound. Rivero dinks on over the top into the path of Fujiwara, who does well. And oh, the Sheffield Wednesday defender really committed there. And it's a good quick one, too. As Fujiwara's in, great save from Dawson. And it's cleared away. Eduardo starting a counter-attack. Great overlapping run from Schneider. If the defender, oh, the defender held his ground really well. Schneider cuts it back. Eduardo, Oman, onto his left foot. Shots blocked. And uh, Backinson will look to get this one away. It goes up to Wilkes. He drops it back to Backinson. And Sheffield Wednesday looking to break with James, who is it could be Dan James, because he is absolutely rapid. And Murphy, no prisoners with that tackle. That's absolutely superb. you love to see that as uh, Backinson gets it again up against Murphy. And Murphy positions himself well for the interception. James. Oh, it's a lovely through ball to Fujiwara, who can get the ball out of his feet and run at goal. Fujiwara with a shot. Good finish from the Japanese winger. 1-0 Gillingham. A lovely counter-attack there. And Fujiwara is the first player we've bought in the save. We bought him back after selling him, and he has been superb. The sale of Rossi to Cambridge United opened up the money and the space on the left wing to bring him back. And bring him back we did. And superb he has been since signing back for Gillingham. And it's another goal for the season for the winger. He is linking up so well with Oman. It's been brilliant. 1-0 Gillingham. Oh, Cusick has been caught on the ball. And Musab feeds this one in. Jovanovic, what a challenge from the centre-back. The club captain had to get that one right. And he did. And uh, to be honest, Gillingham could break from this position here. Because Fujiwara is coming forward. Not too much support in the middle at the moment for the winger. And he's going to try and do it all himself. But a good tackle from Fusere. And uh, the ball is cleared, and that is half-time. 1-0 Gillingham. Uh, a good performance from Sheffield Wednesday so far. They're holding the league leaders pretty well. So, a weird situation. A change at half-time for Scott Lloyd's men as uh, Marquez comes on to replace Dan James. Now, Marquez is becoming a fan favourite uh, of the crowd and the supporters below the uh, comments section. As Well, that's a good bit of goalkeeping there from McNeil. And composed defending from Cusick gives it back but yeah Marquez coming on and the fans think he's got something special and that could give him a lot of potential to grow apparently in this team that's a good ball forward Eduardo does pick out Marquez Marquez tries to slip it through to Oman but his first involvement in the game is not well completed Sheffield Wednesday lovely ball Fusire he makes it 1-1 he wasn't going to miss that one McNeil had no chance it's a lovely finish from the Sheffield Wednesday winger and, uh, well, yeah, not much we could do about that. A lovely ball through here. Splits the defence open as Murphy stepped out. And Fusere on the right foot puts it past McNeil. And that is 1-1. And Sheffield Wednesday probably deserve it, to be honest. Out of the reach of the goalkeeper. A good finish from the striker or winger. 1-1. Oman into Marquez. He's not got the best pace, but he lays that one off to Fujiwaru. Hits it first time. Good block. The ball comes back to Pinto. Pinto into Rivero. Tries to bend one. Good save from Dawson. Oh, and the goalkeeper makes a great save to keep it at 1-1 in this game. Rivero with the corner. Swings it in. Murphy looking to keep it alive. Famueo heads it away for Sheffield Wednesday. Comes all the way back to Fujiwara, who is tackled really well by Vega. Fujiwara stayed down as well. This could be a, well, a very bad injury for us as a team. Although they've given it away and home at the ball as well. They've stopped play as it was given away in their own half. But it looks like Fujiwara is going to have to come off here as the referee checks on him. He's calling on the stretcher and Fujiwara is going to go off. Uh, we'll bring on Coleman to replace him. And I think we're going to go fresh legs up front. And a bit more energy at right back as well, I think. Let's get Olsen on for Schneider and some fresh legs on over there. But not good news for Gillingham as Fujiwara, yeah, just 
completely enough. Vega won the ball, but he completely annihilated Fujiwara there. And uh, it's going to be booted back by Sheffield Wednesday. And uh, Gillingham will start from the back for this one. Eduardo looking for the fresh legs of Schneider and he finds him. And, uh, of Olsen, sorry. Olsen's in and he looks square for Zhao. It's good defending. It'll be a corner to Gillingham. And Sheffield Wednesday just make a sub. It's going to be swung in by Pinto. Up towards Murphy again, who's pushed over. It's come to the edge of the box towards Marquez, who hits it well. And it was blocked by the defender and cleared. Rivero, lovely ball through into Coleman. Coleman into Zhao. Zhao shoots Dawson again. A great save. It's on Zhao's weaker foot. It's just so unlucky for the striker. Scott Lloyd's men probably feeling they should be. They should be winning this one. As the corner's going to come in for Pinto. It's looping high. It's an awful delivery. Sheffield Wednesday on the ball again in midfield. And it does look like that injury to Fujiwara has rocked the team from Kent a little bit. They're lacking a bit of composure that's going for them. But Marquez has made a great run here. And he's played a first-time pass into Zhao. And Zhao could be in. Zhao shoots. Zhao scores. And just as we say, Gilliam look rocked. Zhao makes it 2-1. He's becoming a bit of a super sub, this kid. That was on his right foot. He's left-footed, but we don't care. 2-1 Gillingham. What a goal. We needed that. Because Sheffield Wednesday was starting to get on top. They were controlling possession. But uh, yeah, lovely little first-time pass from Marquez. Released Zhao. Defenders couldn't keep up with him. And then he is deadly in front of goal. So it's a lovely finish. I was expecting him to score. Keeper's got no chance. Scott Lloyd's loving it. 2-1 Gillingham. So free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Not too far out. Ten minutes to go. It's uh, dinked into the box. Rivera actually gets that one away. And Marquez has brought it down really well. And can he accelerate away? The youngster here. He's got his... Man, one-on-one, -on -one, tries a step over, doesn't work. And uh, although Zhao could be in, because Zhao has won the ball back and he's got it on his favoured left foot. Zhao shoots. He's missed. He's missed. I can't, I can't believe it. He's missed. Unbelievable. So a further fair pair, fair, a further pair of fresh legs as uh, Dragovic replaces Pinto in the middle of the park. But Zhao missing a glorious opportunity to wrap the game up. It really should have been 3-1 to Gillingham. Sheffield Wednesday forward again, and it's into Wilkes. Wilkes! And just as Zhao should have wrapped it up down one end, Wilkes makes it 2-2. It was written, wasn't it? You could, you could feel it come in. It's 2-2. Sheffield Wednesday with a late equaliser that have sent their team and fans into raptures. They just got it through the middle of the park. Murphy stepped out again. The ball slipped past him, and it was an easy finish for Wilkes at the end here. Murphy steps out. The offside trap didn't work. And Wilkes just tucks it into that bottom corner. And it is 2-2 here in Sheffield. And Gillingham will feel they could have wrapped that game up. Coleman comes forward. Zhao's giving him a great run through the middle. Zhao this time. Yes! Zhao has scored this one in the 91st minute after going 2-2. Two, two. two minutes later. And Zhao gets the goal that puts Gillingham back in front. I wasn't getting this one wrong on his left foot. It's a lovely finish from the little Chinese striker. And Coleman had his part to play on the left-hand side. A lovely slip-through ball from the Englishman. Puts it into his striker's path and that left foot isn't going to miss two opportunities from there. This one's just too powerful for the goalkeeper. And that is 3-2 Gillingham. And you love to see it. Here comes Sheffield Wednesday. The game isn't over yet. Gesama is in. We've got numbers back. But McNeil, what a save from our keeper. Although it's gone straight to your bar on the edge. Wilkes. Murphy's in there with a great challenge. As Gillingham try and get it away. It's full time panic stations at the end for Gillingham. But a 3-2 win wraps this one up and cements the league leaders probably into that champion's plot. Blah, 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 blah. Spot. So it was a late goal from Zhao. He actually got a brace, so a very good substitution. As a, it's an anterior cruciate ligament. Seven months out for Fujiwara. That is devastating news. Absolutely devastating. Um, it is going to give Coleman a very long run in the team. But Fujiwara being out for that long is devastating. He is so crucial to how we play. Oh, that is a nightmare. That is an absolute nightmare. So Papadopoulos has come to us and said he thinks he should be filling it through. Um, don't worry, I'll come to the right decision. At the moment, Coleman's going to get the start because he deserves it. He's been coming off the bench. He's been doing a really good job off the bench, and he's fully fit for this game. So I think at the moment we do start with Coleman. Uh, we have Grant and Papadopoulos both on the bench. And over, I, I, I sort of feel like 
we start with the team that ended that last game and got the goals because which was Olsen as well. Olsen did start in there as well. So I think we go with that. Oh, McNeil's on international duty, so we'll just auto-replace for this match. So Hassan will be getting a start in this one. Let's go and play MK Dons as we get the nice little intro, which is always good to have on in the background just for a little bit as well. But yeah, we are smashing it this season. Is a lot to, to, to feel we've done really well. Going up to the championship next season, I'm pretty confident we're not going to throw this away. Going up to the championship, I'm excited to see what we can do. And the question is, when we get to the Premier League, do we up the level to legend up from world class? Because I think that would give us more of a challenge. But obviously, we'll see how the championship goes. But let me know your thoughts down below. And while you're giving your thoughts down below, why not celebrate a goal? Because Rivero has had his shot saved by McGilvery. We've started this game incredibly. Four minutes in, we ran right through them and uh, had a very good opportunity at goal. There's a chip in there. That's not going to be won by our guy because he's absolutely tiny. There's a Harvey just boots it away. And we'll have a throw in deep in opposition territory as Coleman picks this one up. Bit of a heavy touch, but he's fouled. Referee, don't be another injury to a left winger. Papadopoulos might be getting his dream of a lot of football. Um, it looks like Coleman's going to be okay, and he is going to be okay, and he's going to take this one. And we're going to try and just chip this one into a bit of a dangerous area. It's gone loopy and high. And uh, McGilvery with an easy catch. Schultz on the right-hand side for MK Dons. Ball in. Well read by Murphy, though. Rivero pokes that one away into James, who I'm pretty sure I took out the starting lineup for this one. But Oman and James are still in there, so I must not have pressed confirm as uh, Dean comes forward. Forced backwards to Williams. Williams just lays that one off. Finch. It's all very narrow for MK Dons. But Hassan stepping in for uh, McNeil, who is on international duty today. He makes his first save of the game. It was a very comfortable one and well held from him as well as uh, Omar. Knows that he's got to impress because Zhao is after that first team spot of his. And he puts it out wide and it goes to Coleman. Into Omar again. Good football this from Gillingham as Pinto looks to keep the ball. And Cruyff turn. Go the other way. See if we can shuffle MK Dons around a little bit. Schneider comes forward. Tries to whip in across. It's not the best. No horror is there to deal with it. Oman on the ball, trying to put it through to Pinto. Didn't quite work. Williams just gets that one out of the reach of Rivero. MK Don's moving this around. Finch goes up to Harrison. Out wide to Harvey. Harvey comes forward down the left. Nice little back heel to find Finch. He's getting into some good positions. Hassan with a good save. And Murphy reacts quickest to get the next touch on it and get it away. James releases Rivero. Rivero just to put it in the path of Oman. It's a lovely ball through. The first touch wasn't great from the striker. But Oman's beaten his man. Managed to get a cross in. And Rivero is eyeing up the spectacular. Uh, Oman wins the header. It comes out to James. James hits it. Oh, it's hit the underside of the bar. It could have been a fantastic goal from the attacking midfielder. But he smashes the underside of the bar. Ball through. Here's Finch on the edge of the area. Dean shoots Hassan. Uh, another easy save for the stand-in goalkeeper. But that shot from, from James is just unbelievable. The crossbar's still rattling. He's given the ball away there in central midfield. But an absolute corking effort from the midfielder. Again, another player who's got to prove his worth to Scott Lloyd. There's youngsters sniffing at their heels. Wanting to get in the first team here as Jovanovic stands up well to win that one. Rivero gets it off to Pinto. But that is half-time. Nil-nil. In this one, James coming the closest, rattling the bar late on in the first half. No changes at half-time for Scott Lloyd's men. None for MK Dons either. And uh, we will get into this one as Williams has the ball for MK Dons. Oh, we've nicked that off his toes there really well. And James could put Oman in. Oman, oh, I just couldn't get the ball out of his feet uh, to turn away from his man as MK Dons come forward again with Dean into Devoy. Devoy goes forward and Schultz has beaten the tackle there of uh, Cusick at left back. It goes out to Harvey. Harvey just forced wide. It comes inside to Finch. He beats his man, lays it back on the edge and Rivero's there for a great challenge. And can Gillingham counter-attack from here? Oman telegraph that pass. Awful. James comes forward on the edge of the box. Oman made a run but drifted offside. James holds on to the ball for a, essentially a bit too long although he's looking for that 1-2 with Oman. Just crowded out. Couldn't do anything with it. As uh, Schultz comes forward. Up it goes to Harrison. Great challenge 
from Jovanovic. Oman is on it. Again, he's just getting completely marked out of this game. Could be a chance for Zhao to prove his worth once more. Schultz comes forward, but that will be easily defended by Cusick. James turns away from his man really well. He's actually being covered quite well by the defender, to be honest, and just turning into trouble. I think we need fresh legs on. A little bit of a change with just over an hour gone. As uh, MK Dons come forward again, Murphy again steps out and judges it wrong. Harrison goes wide. All the way out to Harvey. Harvey with an early cross. Nobody's there. Cross was over hit as well. It'll be a throw in to Gillingham. And Gillingham making a raft of subs. Five of them. Zhao, Papadopoulos, Grant, Marquez and Rojas all coming on in this one. A disappointing run out for the front five which finds them all replaced. And Rojas comes on for Murphy at the back for a little bit more uh, height and strength. Well that's not a good pass. Rivero keeps it alive. Picks out Grant who himself is coming back from a massive injury. He steps in to replace, uh, well, Coleman in this case, who stepped in to replace Fujiwara, who has picked up a cruciate ligament injury, which you wish upon no footballer at all. It's absolutely horrendous. Grant plays a good one too with Cusick there. Cusick sees Zhao in the middle. Zhao, great first touch. Zhao just couldn't get his shot off. It was a really good touch to take it away from the path of the defender, but then just couldn't think quick enough to adjust his feet and get that shot off. And Already straight into the game, the substitutes hopefully bringing this much needed energy for Gillingham. That's a free kick though. Schneider goes up the line to Papadopoulos who has publicly stated he wants more football in this Gillingham team. And I mean, oh, creating chances like that is going to get you more football. It's a corner to Gillingham. Good work from Papadopoulos on the right hand side. As uh, Finch is replaced for MK Dons. And the corner comes in up towards Pinto. Jovanovic wins the header. It's there for Rojas. Couldn't get his shot off and the keeper just about scrambles it away after there was a very uh, confident back pass to him. And it's going to go all the way down into the MK Don's byline, to be honest. And Gillian have a chance here to put a bit of pressure on. And loop the ball high. It's uh, some odd football being played here by MK Don's. And it's not worked for them because Rivero picks up the ball. Rivero comes forward. I should have gone with a dinky chip. And Rivero has won that back high up the pitch. A nice bit of skill. Take it away from his man. Rivero swings it into the box. Papadopoulos is under it. Harvey clears it away. <sighs> Papadopoulos back in the team. Went for the spectacular. Didn't quite pull it off. The game is now being pretty much dictated by Rivero in the middle. So in the 93rd minute of two minutes of added on, MK Dons have a corner. It's swung in. Zhao heads it away. Pap Marquez is fouled, but there's not going to be time for the free kick. It's nil-nil in this game. You don't get many nil-nils, but it's a nil-nil. There you go. We've got one. Disappointing. I think we should have absolutely annihilated them there. We only had, there was only seven shots in the game. That's awful. Now, does that show how much we miss Fujiwara not being able to uh, get a win in that game? Papalos wanted to say thanks. It won't always go our way. It's nothing personal. Papadopoulos, nothing you could do. But that does end this episode of Dragovic. Uh, have made an offer of uh, 2.4 million from Olympic Lyonnais. Who we will say no. Oh, we've got a player also wanting to chat to us. We're going to talk about my contract situation. Um, there's plenty of time. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But the next episode will be the final two league games of the season. Um, because that's what we're going to come back for. Because we're nearly close to the end. We're going to get promoted. We'll have a big promotion party and see how we get on. The only thing to touch on at the end of the episode is that we have some more uh, youth players in here and we actually have positions available. So, Marianne Grigore um, goes to a centre mid or a holding midfielder and stays at 62. Kuehl goes to a centre-back and jumps to 65, which is awesome. Uh, Guidado goes from a centre attack in mid to a left winger, stays at 66. Uh, Hamadan, who is uh, one of our Saudi Arabian players that we found, goes from a 49 to a 50 as a right winger. And Al Katani goes 55 to 58 as a right winger as well. And that's all the updates we have. But yes, we do have plenty of talent in our youth academy. More the goalkeeper, 67 overall. Guardado, the winger, 66 overall. Kuehl, the centre-back, 65 overall. Jiang, a goalkeeper, 62 overall. Grigor, holding midfielder or centre-back now, 62 overall. Um, al Katani, 58 overall. Moya, 58 overall. Cunningham, 57 overall. Uh, and then we have some other players that are just below the 55 mark, but lots of potential. I don't think 
Chen is ever going to make it. So we will release Chen from our youth academy. But for now, it's looking healthy. It's looking positive. Our scouts are out there looking for more talent. And we'll be back for the last two games of the season. See you then. Cheers.